welcome everyone to my youtube channel in this video we'll look at the concept of domain and range of functions okay so by definition we said that the domain of a function is a set of uh, numbers for which the function is defined so you recall that we said that if you have a function f going from a to b so the domain is your a that means the set a all the elements in a you know form the domain of that function so this is the set upon which this function has been defined okay so um why this is called the codomain okay so in practical terms what we are saying is for instance if we have a function f of x is equal to let's say um x squared so you can see that there is no x value from the real of course we are defining our function from the set of real numbers henceforth of course you know we have set of complex numbers but for the sake of our discussion here we'll be restricting our function to the set of real numbers so you can see that there is no number that you pick from this set that will not be defined here any number you pick from the set of real numbers would definitely uh, be defined if you take the square you will have a value and so it is uh, defined for all real numbers therefore you will say that the domain of this function is just the whole of the real number space okay and then you have other examples for instance if I, and then the, the we have different ways of defining domains for different types of functions you remember we just talked about types of functions so whenever you have a straight function like this a polynomial that is not rational um, you just know that the domain is the whole set of um, uh, real numbers now then when you have a rational function for instance let's take it that my f of x is equal to this okay so for you to define the domain of a rational function your interest must be at the denominator of that function the denominator must not be zero for a rational function to be defined and so that means our x here must not be equal to zero in that case every other real value every other real number can go and this function will be defined except your zero therefore you can say that our domain here is the set of r without this this symbol here stands for without that means except zero so every other real number without zero is uh, in the domain of this function okay and you can see other examples as we go on can actually also write this as interval if i want and uh, it's going to be of this form is going to start from negative infinity up to zero but zero is not going to be part of it so i use open bracket then it's also starting from zero also to positive infinity because we are talking about the whole of r excluding zero so this uh, open bracket here excludes zero this open black bracket here also excludes zero but it includes everything from zero to positive infinity and it includes anything from uh, post negative infinity uh, down to zero in between them both of them are not inclusive so this is how to actually write this in interval form okay so now what about range so we say that range is a set of possible values of the function given the domain or with respect to the domain so when you are given a function what are the possible values you can get uh, with respect to the domain so for example here now since the domain here is the whole of r so if i keep squaring the whole of r what are the possible values i am going to get so you see that if we square the whole of r the possible values we will get will all be positive so we are going to have zero down to positive infinity zero will be inclusive but positive infinity will not be included so this stands then as the range of this function okay so now so that's what we're saying so with respect to the domain what are the possible values that you can get okay and uh, so on and so forth what about this we're also going to see from examples okay example one here says we should find the domain 
and the range of the following functions okay so let's begin so for number one we are given f of x to be equal to 2x plus 1 all over 3x the function we have here is a rational function so my interest should be in the denominator the denominator must not be zero your 3x must not be zero and so if you solve for this you get that x alone must not be zero so it's only x that must not be zero so in that case uh, our domain is simply equal to r without zero we already said that so and that's our domain and what about the range so the range for this is going to be the range is simply going to be all the r every single r when you have a rational function in this form any r can actually be gotten i can get zero here i can get one i can get negative one i can get anything depending on my substitution into this so it is the whole of r that is my range here okay and then for number two we have that g of x is equal to the square root of one minus x and we want to find the domain so to find the domain we said that for a square root function all you need to do is to ensure that the the value under the square root is not there is not negative and for it not to be negative it means that one minus x must be greater or equal to zero that's the meaning of not being negative mathematically and so the implication of that if i solve this is that i'm going to have one is greater or equal to zero sorry x and if i turn it this other way around i will get that x is less than or equal to one and uh, if my x is less than or equal to one so that's the domain and how can we write it in a set form so we can say then that our domain is equal to the set is is less than or equal to one that means it's going to go down to negative infinity and then it's going must be equal to one one must be included so since one is included i will use a block bracket on the right hand side and so and this is the value we are looking for for the domain and what about the range our range here is simply equal to the whole of zero down to positive infinity so positive infinity must not be included okay of course you can get zero here the possible values assuming i decide to put my x as one since one is allowed to be in the domain i'll get one minus one which is zero square root of zero is zero so zero is there and i can get one what if i choose to put my x as zero okay so you will see that uh, i will have one minus zero which is uh, one and square root of one is one so one is there and every other number down to positive infinity and then finally for example three we are given that h of x is equal to x plus two all over x squared minus one so this one is also another uh, uh, rational function number the denominator is important here yeah? so for the a for domain x squared minus one must not be zero and if you watch what we have here this is uh, uh what do you call it uh, difference of two squares and that is x plus one and x minus one must not be zero so meaning x plus one must not be zero or x minus one must not be zero and if this happens it means that x must not be negative one and uh, x if I, let's use and here and x must since it is a negative statement and x must not be positive what one okay so these are the two values that your x must not be that if you put them here as x you are going to get zero in the denominator and that will make this a, a function to be undefined okay so and that being the case now what is then our domain so our domain is simply equal to the whole of r without these two numbers minus one and one okay and that's our domain uh, remember you can write this without as subtraction you can write it this way minus one 
one as in this to be what you're looking for here okay this and this are actually the same and remember i also said you can put it in interval form if you want you can as well do that okay so and um that is and to put it in interval form look at how it's going to look like uh you're starting from negative infinity and you will get to negative one and because you don't want negative one you use open bracket and then plus you know here here plus means union in set theory plus you continue with negative one because there are values in between negative one and one that will be, be useful for us and so you also put open bracket to say that two of them are not there but anything in between them are also part of the set and then plus your one also down to positive infinity and that would have given you the whole of the set you are looking for and that is the domain of this function here okay so what about the range the range for the function is simply let me put it here our range is simply the whole of r okay and so and that's where we're going to stop for this video that's how to discuss uh, the concept of domain and range study the type of function you have if it's rational pay attention to the denominator it must not be zero if it's square root pay attention to value in the, under the square root it must not be negative and so on we also have logarithmic functions uh, trigonometric functions we're going to see the conditions for those ones in subsequent uh, lessons kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, like share and comment on our videos we'll see you in our next video bye